Hello and welcome to Beyond the Boundary. This is the 2015 season preview for the Gold Coast Suns. My name's Nick Geisen. I'm joined by Josh Rickard and Vinay Lakshman, as always. Boys, they've got a new coach to Gold Coast. It's Rodney Eid. It's a fresh approach mm. for the Gold Coast Suns. A rocket. A rocket, absolutely. A rocket has landed in the uh, in the Gold Coast. He spent the last couple of years at Collingwood in that uh, strategic coach kind of role. That weird kind of role that every club seems to have, but no one seems <laughs> to know what they do. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly right. Took the words yeah, your question then, Nick. What are they doing? <laughs> so, but um, he'll bring a fresh new approach. Uh, the guy can obviously coach. Took Sydney to two uh, grand finals. Yep. Um, did very, very well at Western Bulldogs. Sorry, consecutive prelim finals, I think it was. Was it two or three? I think it was three. Um, it was a couple. It was a couple. He took them there anyway. But yep. uh, he's a very good coach. Um, and the, the younger players will learn a lot off him. Now, there was sort of rumours circulating that Guy McKenna didn't have a good rep- approach up there. He was sort of talking down to players. It wasn't a good environment. And do we think we'll see a fresh start on Rodney Ed here? Oh, absolutely. There has to be. Yeah. Um, because, obviously, Rodney's got plenty of experience. Um, he's, as I said, he's been at Collingwood, been at the Bulldogs, uh, been at Sydney as well. So yep. um, he's got plenty of experience from a number of different clubs that he'll bring to the Gold Coast Suns. And we've seen sort of some, almost some dead wood, I would hesitate to say. In Campbell Brown, Nathan Bock, Carmichael Hunt, Matthew Warnock even, leave this club in the off-season. What are our thoughts on that? Absolutely. I mean, um, obviously all talented players, uh, Campbell Brown, Nathan Bock in particular. At, at their peak? At, at their peak, absolutely. Um, Carmichael Hunt, you could probably see it coming um, yeah. with him going back to rugby, but he wasn't the worst player. Uh, the first year he took his time, but the second year he showed real improvement. Yep. Third year he struggled with injury. And, well, he tried uh, hard in his role for Lyle. Yeah. He put in a bit more effort than old man Izzy, yeah. and he also took Gold Coast to their first... Was it win or was that no? That was their win against Richmond. Oh, it was a win after the first win of the season. The first win in the season. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, he, he, you know, he did something. Yeah. And he kicked that massive ninety meter goal against Hawthorne as well. So Geelong, Geelong even better. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he did some good things. It was sixty but anyway. I think they've lost a lot of weight in here, boys, and yeah. they'll intend to keep it off. Yeah. Because this is some bad weight. Where have they been? Uh, Jenny Craig <laughs> in the off season, and they've lost quite a lot of weight, and they have actually trimmed down, and now they're eating much healthier. And I say that because they've got some very healthy options here in Mitch Hallahan, yeah. in Nick Malcheski, and some very nice inclusions like Peter Wright, Jared Gard, and Tuke Miller, who are all extremely highly touted draftees. Yeah. And I think they're looking very good, Gold Coast. They've handled themselves excellently um, since starting, and I think GWS could learn some lessons from them. Because yeah. Gold Coast got, you know, they landed, they targeted a big name player, they got him, you know, they put plenty of games into their youngsters consistently. Well, GWS have this rotation policy which I don't approve of, but they've done a good job of it. And now their youngsters are some of their best players. Yeah. Yeah. Dion Prestia, you know, Trent McKenzie, Jay Romero and the like. So yeah. I think they're in for a big year. Absolutely. The one I want to touch on is Mitch Hallahan. Uh, he won the JJ Liston Trophy, which is the VFL um, Brownlow, Brownlow yep. um, That's a big deal. in That's the a last big couple deal. of years. So that is a big deal down here in Victoria. Yep. Um, but he, he was groomed as a local replacement for Brad Saw when he left. Uh, at Hawthorne, went, yeah. At Hawthorne. They identified Mitch Hallahan a couple of years ago as the man to replace Brad Sewell. Yep. But then Will Langford came along uh, and Mitch Hallahan uh, is, took his uh, spot. Yeah. That's a bit of a kick yeah, in the so, pants. But I tell you what, Gold Coast have got a ripping young kid on their hands because uh, Mitch Hallahan can certainly play. Yep. Now we see Malcheski and Hallahan straight into the best 22, and Malcheski would obviously be a very good mentor for College Asmi up there. Oh, absolutely. I mean, he's already been named the vice captain of the club under Gary Ablett, so. Um, we, we've spoken about experience all through these previews, um, yeah. and Malcheski just brings that as well. He's a two-time Premiership player. Um, he's he's running a uh, gun off halfback. Yeah. It will certainly help the likes of um, Trent McKenzie, Kate College, as he said. So uh, he's he's going to be vital. He's, he's already you know bringing some of that Sydney culture in there as well. You know, recently he said that he rocked up to Gold Coast and he saw things that he didn't approve of. Yeah. He said they weren't good enough. Yeah. He was just as well plain as that. He's like, I saw training methods here, the way people were doing it. And I thought it's not good enough. So, you know, he's already earned the respect of his teammates. Yeah. He's, he's gone down there and he means business. He's not just gone down there and oh, well, you know, I've won a couple of premierships. Yeah. May as well just relax on the Gold Coast and have a nice bit of fun. place to retire. Yeah, you know, yeah. he's not doing that. He's still keen to lead this young team now into the finals and hopefully win something. He's expecting yeah. success up there. Correct. I'll tell you what, Rodney E is expecting success from young Jack Martin. He wants him to live up to his potential. What do we see from Martin? J Martin. Well, we saw in the last game of the year against the West Coast Eagles, so yeah, you, might be able, you might be able to uh, lead into that one. Well, like, I couldn't but... really remember because Josh Kennedy kicked 10 goals. And <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, he, he was a very good player. He showed shades. And, you know, he had he struggled with injury last year. Yeah. 
And, you know, everyone was expecting him to go nuts because in the knee fall he was killing it. Well, they were expecting um, a repeat of Jagger and Mira. Correct, yeah. yeah. But, you know, that's a lot of pressure for just a kid. And yeah. you've got to remember, he was 19 last year. Yeah. He, he played extremely well in his last game against West Coast. He had 19 disposals, I believe, and four goals. In a game where Gold Coast really, you know, they weren't Gold Coast. Yeah. So he, he stood up and he played extremely well. And I think this is going to be a good year for him. One man that's ready for a breakout year, if he can get a break with injury, is Jesse Lonigan. He's rated very highly up at Gold Coast. Well, you say injury. Unfortunately, he's uh, rolled his ankle at training. Yeah. And uh, he's going to miss a couple of weeks. So Again. Again, that's yeah. Win, so um, no matter how many weeks he missed through a preseason, it's never good to miss any. Yeah. Because um, it yeah. just it just sets you back just that little bit. Just a little bit. Because they do so much every single day that you want to be here. I mean, six, six days a week, they're, they're training, doing a whole lot of different things. So... That's a, that's a bit of a setback for him, but I still, I'm still confident he can get in there and play round one. Yep. Another man who's very much ready to break out is Sam Day. He's behind Ooh, yeah. Dixon and Lynch up there, but he's a top three pick. He's well, 22 years of age. Yeah, played 64 games. They've got a very good forward line, yep. Gold Coast. I think it's underrated, to be yep. honest. Um, you know, we talk about the bigger forward lines in the game, but we forget that these guys are Dixon, Lynch, and Day, yep. all occupying that forward half. And then you've got yep. littles like Matera and Hall and... Um, Day in particular, you know, we saw Tom Lynch, your man, break out last year. My man. Your man, you're the one that really like. Yeah. Tom Lynch. <laughs> you don't know, like Tom Lynch, Josh? Oh, I like <laughs> him a lot. I think he's a terrific guy. Yeah, and Charlie Dixon, you know, the year before that, he yep. broke out. So now it's almost like it's Sam Day's turn, isn't it? Well, the the thing I see is that Matthew Warnock's gone out um, and left left a spot in their defence, so to speak. Yeah. Um, with Stephen May going so well down there, I can even see maybe Sam Day oh, coming back into the old, back. coming back into okay. defence, um, cementing a spot down there. Obviously, you've got young Peter Wright, um, sort of waiting in the wings. He'd be a couple of years away. But two meter Peter. Two meter Peter. That's what they call him. Um, but obviously, there'll be a lot of onus on seeing him in the later season. So possibly there is the opportunity for Sam Day to go back. And St- Stephen May is not the overly tallest player. Uh, going around, so yep. if you get someone like a buddy um, that comes in, Sam Day might be a bit more. Who's closer to the two meter mark? Yep. Sam Day would be the perfect uh, opponent. Definitely. Um, Brandon Matera has yet to go through a season without injury. If he can stay without injury, like we're saying with um, Jesse Lonigan, um, this will be his breakout. He's, He's one of my favourites. But I, I um, what's what I'm looking for? Liking him to Chad Winger. Okay. Oh. Okay. So that high half forward midfield role. Yeah, I, I can see him having a similar year to what Chad had in his uh, second year where he won all Australian and honours and yep. uh, best in first. I reckon his moment. movement is very similar to Chad Winger. He probably doesn't have the same leap, yeah. run and leap as Winger, but his movement and his goal sense is yep. probably... He's a very, Brandon Materia is a very smart footballer. Very. Um, so I'm, I'm not saying that Brandon will have an all Australian year, best and fairest. Not necessarily. But not necessarily, yeah. but I can see him having... A big, a very big good bat. Yeah. Yep. A very well, he's going to be one of the best small forwards um, in the game at some stage. West Coast went after him very hard in the offseason. Uh, he's the nephew of Peter Matera, I believe. But yep. um, he came back to us with a contract extension at Gold Coast. So that's one way to say no. Yeah. <laughs> um, another man ready for breakout season. Sean Lemons has improved a lot. The candy man. The candy man. The candy man. He stole it from me. <laughs> Ever since he kicked that goal. Um, I think it was his first goal in league footy. And okay. he's now known as the candy man. He is. He is. He's a fantastic young player. He'll uh, play in a back pocket with Trent McKenzie and Kay Collar Jasney. Yep. Um, he'll play regular senior football. So, boys, what do we see from the Gold Coast Suns this year? It's their fifth year in the competition, I believe. Yep. Um, we saw big strides from them in 2014. What kind of improvement are we seeing in 2015? Top eight. Has Top to eight? Be. Has to be. Yep. Um, Gary, Gary back again. Um, obviously leads from the front. He's best player in the comp. Uh, the addition of Nick Malcheski and Mitch Hallahan. Uh, another preseason into like the Yago Amira, Jack Martin, yep. Harley Bernal, uh, Yago Amira. Um, I think I said him, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Dion, Dion Prestia, uh, David Swallow. He, yeah. he was one I was about to say. Mind you, Jago Amira has also gone for surgery, I believe, overseas. Or something right. similar to that. He's, he, he did. He's back. He did. He's he back. Did. He's back, yeah. Okay. Yep. So it has to be top eight. But I, I'll say top six. Wow. Top six. I'll say top six. That's a big call. Ooh. Home final? Top, if Ablett plays every game, top <laughs> six. If he doesn't, top eight. Well, you got you got to remember just just before I wrap up that yep. um, they were sitting in third position midway through the year. Correct. Yeah. So and they, they were pushing very hard last season. Loose. They were pushing very very hard. So, okay. Having said all that, we have set the pass mark for them to make the eight. Um, yep. It's a high bar for a team, a developing team, but we think it's time. Great. Um, they've got the talent they need to get there. I think they'll be very disappointed if they do miss out on that. Yep. So be very interesting to see. Um, that concludes our Gold Coast Suns season preview. We hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.